I'm Chris Sanchez and welcome to Sonoma Views, where we talk real estate, property management, and local restaurant reviews. In today's episode, I'm gonna tell you the five questions that you should be asking a property management company before you decide to hire them. And these are specifically related to maintenance and repairs on your property. Thank you very much for being here, so let's get started. Okay, so question number one. Are service calls included in the monthly management fee? In other words, if somebody has to go out to the property to uh, do an inspection for maintenance or do repairs on that property, a tenant calls to report an issue, is are the service calls, maintenance calls, included in the monthly management fee? Number two, how do they handle maintenance requests? So when a tenant calls in and says they're reporting maintenance, how does the property management company handle that, the whole process of that maintenance request from beginning to end? Not only during normal business hours, but how do they handle after hours, evenings, weekends, holidays? Question number three, do they mark up their invoices? In other words, when a work is done on a property, maintenance is done, and an invoice comes in for the work to be completed, does a property management company mark up that invoice and pass that extra charge on to you, the landlord? For example, if uh, minor repair is done, handyman work is done on a property and the cost was $100, does the property management company pass along that $100 bill or do they mark it up and charge you 110, 115, 120? Very important to know. Do they mark up their invoices? Number four. What is their authorized limit for maintenance and repairs on your property? For example, uh, in order for them to do their job, the property manager to do his or her job, they need to schedule vendors to make maintenance and repairs. But what is that limit? It's a dollar amount. So it's going to be within the management agreement. It'll be 300, 400, 500. Is it a thousand dollars? You need to find out what that pre-authorized amount is. So it's, um, it allows the property management company to do their job and operate the property and do the necessary maintenance and repairs, but there is a cap, there's an authorized limit. Anything over that limit will require the owner's or the landlord's written authorization. You need to find out what is that limit. All right, and question number five, do they have an in-house lender or do they have in-house maintenance people to handle the maintenance and repairs on your property? So. If something breaks or something needs just routine maintenance, does a property management company have their own staff in-house who are actually doing the work or do they contract out with third-party vendors? Now, if they do uh, contract out with third-party vendors, are they using vendors who are licensed and insured, or I should say properly licensed and insured for the job that they're being sent out to do? So if there's an electrical job that's being done, are they properly, is the vendor properly licensed as an electrician? Are they properly licensed? Or are they using just general handyman? Um, or is it direct employees of the property management company? So lots of different ways how property managers, uh, property management companies may work. So you just wanna find out what, what the relationships are, whether they have somebody in-house or not, or they have third-party vendors, and then are they using the appropriate licensed and insured vendors to actually work on your property? Furthermore, do they have workers' comp insurance, workers' compensation in case somebody gets hurt on the property or on the job? Is the vendor properly insured, the contractor properly insured? And then also you wanna find out how they, uh, how they treat with the insurance, what requirements the property management company requires from the vendors who they use, or um, if it falls under your insurance as the landlord. Okay, so those were the five questions that you should be asking a potential property management company before you decide to hire them to manage your investment properties. I'm Chris Sanchez, this is Sonoma Views. I thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been informative, informational, or educational in one way or another. If you'd like to receive future videos, just subscribe on YouTube. It's sonomaviews.com. You'll find a whole lot more videos for real estate, property management, and restaurant reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.